to the select board meeting for August 17th, 2017. Our first order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Well, for coming, uh, we'll open it up to public comments first. So, Sharon, I had a question that has been brought to my attention from some residents on my road. When we had the bad fire um, about six weeks ago. Going into Tanglewood Drive, it's very pitch black. Um, I don't know if it could be a light on the opposite side, an LED light, but four o'clock in the morning or even midnight, it's pretty black. It's dark. Um, I think it's a safety concern. Um, this has been brought to me by quite a few of my people that, you know, the rescue squad members and fire department. Um, I just want to address this because it is a concern. Um, hopefully we won't ever have a fire down there or, but it's, it's dark. It's pretty dark. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We'll, is that something you want to take a look at? And sure. Do it? Uh, pack and Go for make a plan. Yep. yep. Okay, thank you very much. Yep. Any other public comments? Moving right along. We have with us today Taylor Newton from the Northwest Regional Plan Commission. Hello. Hey. And he's full of energy. <laughs> Devoid of energy at this point. <laughs> uh, so I'm here to talk enhanced energy plan. Um, I spoke to Heidi earlier. It sounds like you guys have already looked at the draft. So I, I, I'm really here to answer any questions you may have on the draft. Uh, and if you're ready to move towards adoption, I can walk you through a potential adoption schedule and, and walk you through what I still need to do for you to get you to, to adoption. Um, so Taylor's been our point person who's come up with the large uh, packet that we got the other day. Um, he's done a lot of work for us, which is awesome. And do we have any questions or concerns about that energy plan uh, proposal? So I guess if you could walk us through adoption. Sure, I guess I have, I have a couple quick questions for you, and, and I should have asked the planning commission, but um, there's a bunch of maps associated with this enhanced energy plan. Um, they're all really big. Mm -hmm. Is it all right if I just put them at the end of the plan instead of within the chapter? <laughs> or is there a preference? I'm fine with that. Okay. There's also an implementation chapter, and we have a bunch of implementation items with energy. I may just take that and put that in your chapter, if that's all right. Yep, that's fine. So in terms of adoption, um, we've got some timing issues. Um, you know, first off, I've got to take what I've written and kind of integrate it into your full plan. So I've got to do a bunch of formatting, uh, tables, figures, the whole deal, to make it flow with the rest of your plan. Um, it's going to take me a little, a little bit of time. Um, I've also got to write um, a report um, talking about how um, these changes affect. Um, I'm forgetting the technical term, but essentially land use in Highgate. Um, there's a report associated with the plan, so I'm going to do that as well. Um, because this is the first community we've done an enhanced energy plan in, um, I want to be careful about it and run it by a couple of colleagues to make sure um, we're, covering, we're covering all our bases before we... We uh, appreciate that. Just, yeah, <laughs> just just Ground bring something and, and uh, throw it out there. So um, I've got some work to do. I can get that done within the next week, I'm thinking. Um, but we need 30 days of warning before um, we can have our PC hearing. Um, that doesn't line up too well, and that would if we just stuck on regular PC hearing dates, that means October 17th. If the PC is willing to, to have a special meeting at the end of September, we could move up the timeline a little bit. Um, but as it stands right now, it's October 17th. Um, that really doesn't work with the select board schedule in November. That means, um, so select boards required to have two hearings. Um, that would mean hearings on December 7th and December 21st. 
But now we had also talked about potential um, modifications for additional village mm. designations. Mm. So we yeah. were thinking of doing all adoption, all modifications to the town plan One at once. Time. Yeah. So forgot about that. And there's n no rush from the town's perspective. So. Okay. Um, there's no rush. I mean, I, I thought adoption. there was a little bit of rush, but if there's not, I mean, we can figure out when did what did the state want maps, etc. For well, we don't need a modification for our renewal, which is due by November. But you'll need maps in the plan for the new village centers, correct? We'll need wording that would yeah. um, state the town's goals. Which we could do any time. We don't have to wait for the other village Does it make sense just to throw the thing that's going to pass in there, given that it will be a requirement once you get approval for those village centers? I think as long as the wording is okay, if we needed to, we could always modify the map to remove a map and replace it if they adjust the map. Yeah. But I think what was important was stating goals of uh, seeking designation for the other two mm -hmm. villages. Mm -hmm. I thought we had to do a modification since we're adding something to the current village designation. Are we adding a parcel down at the end? Is that a matter? Well, we're shifting a corner on the map that's just incorporating the whole school property. So the white building would be, which is part of the school, would be in the village designation. Apparently it's not. They chopped it out. Well, we've got that map already. So that's right, but I thought you said we got to do a modification, not a renewal, if we did that. It's a different application process, just like it would be if you added the village designations. So it's not just a rewrite; it's a modification. It's not. It's a modification, not just a renewal. No Am I wrong? No, I think you're right, and I, I, I don't think there's much difference in, the, in what's required in terms of the application. Oh, okay. But I, I think I think you're right. I just, I'll, and I can double check what the difference is, but when I've done them before, there doesn't seem to be much difference in terms of I just didn't want to have you do it all and have to make it a different yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, yeah, I don't want to because of a, a glitch of adding one little thing that's not a modification, it's a renewal, that's all. Yeah. So, so, so what they're talking about, it, this village designation means that um, the town has been part of a village designation for the state for the last five years. Our renewal is up. Um, the benefit to the town is the availability of funds, um, and with the energy plan would allow us to make sure that in our village designations we wouldn't have uh, energy sources where we didn't really want them. Well, yeah, I think actually, yeah. So your your designated village center as it stands now. I mean, we're essentially saying that, yeah. No new renewable energy facilities there except for except for off solar. Right. Um, but yeah, yeah. You said benefits to the town. There's also a lot of benefits to private property owners. Yes, there, there are. So that's that's the yeah, big thing. And the town is actually, uh, and the planning commission has just gone through a walkthrough with the state. Uh, is looking to have those village designations also for the Highgate Springs area and the Highgate Falls area. Uh, so that would be three separate village designations for our town. Um, so that's an ongoing process, but it's part of what Heidi and Taylor are talking about, so people don't get lost in the conversation Thank here. You. <laughs> Thank you. Still, uh, still, I think this timeline, even making the changes that we need to make for the village designation, I think we can probably still have a PC hearing in, in October. That means I need to get materials to you by, you know, the second week in September at the latest. Okay. Do Does that. that work for the planning? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. We'll make it work. We can shoot for that. It'd be nice to get this done and started. Yeah. And you've done a lot of work for us, so I'd hate to put it off. Um, does the public have any questions about our energy plan since we have Taylor here. He has done an awesome job on this. Um, it kind of, if you want to give us a little overview of, of sure. what sure. you've done 
and what it means for for the residents. I'll try to do that as quickly as I can. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, so the legislature enabled uh, towns to do enhanced energy planning through uh, a passage of a bill uh, last legislative session. Um, um, enhanced energy planning is really um, just a little bit more detailed energy planning that you've previously been required to do in your municipal plan. Um, it specifically looks at, at you know how much energy use is currently happening in, in Highgate across all sectors. So how much do you use for heating energy? How much for transportation energy? Um, how much electricity do you use? It sets targets for um, electricity use, transportation energy use, thermal energy use. Um, well into the future, all the way to 2050. Um, it also involves, um, you know, how you're going to attain those targets for future energy use. So we've got a couple actions that town can take to help attain those targets. Um, and it also contains maps, um, and those maps um, are meant to guide where uh, new renewable energy facilities will be located in Highgate. Um, so new wind facilities, new solar facilities, new hydro facilities. Um, so, so in doing this, um, in amending your municipal plan to have enhanced energy planning, um, you enable a town to seek what's called determination of energy compliance <coughs> from Northwest Regional Planning Commission. Um, once you have that, the town would have a, a greater say um, before the Public Service Board when a renewable energy facility is proposed. Um, that's really the carrot driving doing the enhanced energy planning. Um, the enhanced energy plan really isn't that much different than what you already have. Um, you know, a lot of the, the estimations of, of current energy use are already there. The targets are, are a, um, a little bit more ambitious than what you have. The maps are new, um, but but it isn't that much of a change in, in my eyes. Um, that's as quick as I can get through Act One Seventy Four. Is that is that sufficient? That's perfect. All right. Does anyone have any questions? I can forward copies of the chapter to anyone that would like to see it. And there'll be yeah, three hearings, so plenty of time to Plenty of time to learn more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have we formally made a motion to adopt the energy plan? I believe you have. Okay. And it never hurts to make another. <laughs> would you agree, Wendy? They two meetings ago they made a, yes. a motion to version. adopt it. Yeah. Okay. So we have our bases covered there. So, thank you very much. No problem. No, thank you. Thanks for being here. And uh, if you want me at one of your hearings or or whatever, just let me know. And I'll, okay. I'll try my best to make it. Okay. All right. Perfect. It'd be nice if you could be at the first one. I can yeah, certainly so. be at. I can plan on the PC hearing in the first one. That'd be great. Okay. Cool. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Moving right along. Parks and Rec. So, Ty and Brian. I think. Uh, when we forwarded you guys the quotes for the ceiling and crack filling of the arena. Yes. Uh, just looking for you guys to decide who we want to go with and hopefully get them scheduled for this fall to maintain our parking lot over there. I didn't bring copies of myself. There's a set we, the yeah, table. Yeah, we have a set here. Remember it? I've got an iron tablet. Can you go, Brian? Mm -hmm. How much did you budget? Uh, six, six, three, three, three. Are we wrong? We had budgeted 9800 in that line item, but there were two other things that, off the top of my head, Kai, I can't remember what you wanted to do. And I thought close to what, around 65, 7000 of that was, was ceiling. Yes. Yeah. So How much did you say? We but for that for the buildings and grounds maintenance yep. was nine thousand eight hundred. Okay. But right. there were two other projects that Ty had in there. I don't have my budget notes with me. Ty, do you remember what those other projects were? Well, uh, some of it was to continue to maintain the walking path. Okay. And purchase garbage cans for for what we we need last that we had to purchase last year or last fiscal year. Um, and then I don't remember the other big project. Perfect. Um, um, one question I have, and we have this problem every year over there with parking, parking next to the road. 
before we seal that, was it, is there any plan to try to narrow the entrance so people can't park near the road, or are we going to leave it the way it is and put pay rails, or do you guys think of that at all? Or? I was against it. Until we, do, until we do, you know, something to make it the permanent fix, we was against just putting Jersey barriers or whatever. Yep. Um, my big thing was if we put something, you know, even if we do narrow it up, at least get it filled. I mean, it may be. We spent 50 bucks more to, for that area, and you're covering it now, but at least the rest of it is done before snow floods. Yeah. No, I agree. So, so, what do you have for bids time? So, uh, Black Billy driveway ceiling uh, at Colchester came in at uh, $7,500. Uh, Bushy Seal Coat came in at uh, $6,145, and Fresh Coat Asphalt <coughs> Services out of Barry came in at $6,634. They, uh, looking at them, they all look pretty standard, the same, you know, clean up the parking lot, fill cracks, and seal, um, not knowing much more about it. This specialty, I mean, I don't know the difference um, other than the bottom line of the price. So. Well, but in my opinion, Bushy's has the lowest price, and we've seen their work all over our yeah, county. They've done all over our county. We know, uh, we know his work is good, and so I mean, I'd, yeah. I'd feel comfortable going with them. Yeah, they're here a lot. They're all they do a good job. So, yeah. so do we Plus, have a motion? Uh, yeah, make I'd a make motion. Sure. Go ahead. I'll make the motion. Do I have a second? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 6145. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Okay. I'll work with the LA tomorrow and get the forms and yeah. hopefully we get them there before soccer season. Yeah. When's White Tails again? White Tails is September 9th. Coming up fast. And then yeah. the following weekend is the Cardinal Tournament. And Bleachers and all that came out good. Still working on it. Okay. But yes, um, they look good. While we have time, Brian, here, we had made a motion some time ago to allow them to do our mowing up until August. Is that something that we want them to continue for the season or do we want them to stop? Was it mostly about time Labor for time. Yes. this public works it's caught up or are they still? And they're still married, in my opinion. Um, well, I don't know what your opinion is. I heard a pertinent question. Is there money left? <laughs> For a new budget cycle. Okay. Then the second question would be, are both of you gentlemen willing to do it for the remainder of the season? Myself, I am, yes. Okay. Yeah, we can handle it, I guess. Doing a good job. No, it's doing a good job. There's, there's just a ton of projects that we've dumped on the town boys between, you know, Spooner Hill. And they have to start Spooner Hill and Mill Hill now. Yeah. And those are two big projects plus the trees there they grew in a lot this summer and they're hanging down pretty low and they need to get those trimmed up before winter otherwise we'll be buying some windshields so okay so do i hear a motion to for the mowing i'll make that motion okay so we make a motion to uh, have ty and brian continue with mowing for the remainder of the season and i'll second that uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate that. Do you have anything else for us? That's all I have tonight. I got just one thing. I'm four meetings late probably, but the water fountain is working. You're a good man. 
Well, it needs some work because I found out it's been shut off for over 15 years. And uh, when the boys turned it on in the spring, that 15 years ago it was leaking, I guess, and they were told to shut it off and leave it off. But the uh, underground is leaking. There must be a valve down there, and it's leaking. It's boiling up out of the ground. If you open the valve wide open, it doesn't leak, but it shoots water six feet over the top of the <laughs> but I think it's because we drilled a well years ago, and I think we switched over, so there's more pressure. Oh, so I turn the control. If I leave the valve wide open, it doesn't leak. If I, if I try to slow it down a little bit so that the water it boils up out of the ground. Pat says he get us a new valve would be just a matter of digging it up and I would say that's what it means. Yeah. But it is working. Yeah. It's that's just not it's no, water. it's right here in the little park. Oh there's a fountain that has a plaque on it that was dedicated by some of the town fathers and it had worked for fifteen years and I think that's might be when they cut the water line to the opposite side of the road because that was leaking. Yeah, it might be. But it's been 15 years. Well, it's nice to know that it actually does work still. It does work. So, thanks for putting the time into that. I had plenty of visitors. <laughs> <laughs> Ty and I only come into town at dark now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to put a plug for your playground there? What's that? So, yeah, I can. Um, date again, was it? 23rd. 23rd. So, um, we're going to, we got some playground equipment to go at the arena facility out in the ball fields. Um, it was from money from Rise VT, and then after Wayne Bushy passed away, he asked for it, his family asked for it donations to be made in the rec department. Um, we got quite a few donations and we purchased some uh, playground equipment for the families to use. And uh, we're gonna do a set up the playground equipment the 23rd of September. We're gonna do a community building of it. And, um, I think we're gonna provide donuts and coffee and lunch the people show up. Like, That's our contribution to the building party. <laughs> <laughs> is that on a Saturday or? It is a Saturday. It's a Saturday. Okay. We're hauling over the Weber. Don't <laughs> <laughs> make my rosary up for a week before. Does that get cemented in? Just a pulse hole? Yeah, yeah I will. We're gonna, I'm going to look at what it needs ahead of time and get stuff there so that way we can. Well, to do we have a, to imagine it's quite a few poles. Do we have a postal to get it mounts on a tractor or anything? You want to have one of them? I'd probably speed up that process. Yeah. Try to get them. If not, we've rented uh, the, the one at Franklin Rental before, and it's yeah. pretty decent for a good rental. Yeah. That's what it's a good they'll dig them. Yeah, especially right there. Sand. So, yes. That should be a good time to do it, get some help, and yep. get it all up. Very nice idea. You're all invited. That's right. <laughs> all the help that wants to show up is more than welcome. <coughs> okay, anything else, gentlemen? Thank you very much, and Thanks, thank you guys. for all the time you put in. We do appreciate it. Moving on, treasure update, Shelley. Don't have much today. There's the check warrant. Yep. And um, one question came in the office today, and I'm assuming if one person has a question, then more than one person has the same question. Okay. So our tax bills used to say local agreements, 
and people would come in and ask what local agreements were. And we would explain it's a veteran exemption. Um, if you're a disabled veteran and you qualify for the 40000 off your assessed value, um, obviously the other taxpayers in town burden that 40000 so um, our total is not bad. With the we have 25 disabled veterans that uh, qualify for the veterans exemption on their tax bill, which totals um, just under ten thousand uh, dollars. But I did change the wording on the tax bill to veteran exemption uh, to clear clear up the what local agreements actually are. Um, so just putting that out there. Um, are the people that get the exemption being taxed too? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> there. Uh, it's on every day, so everyone's got to make up the piece that's missing. Curious. <laughs> <laughs> Redistribution. <laughs> yep. Um, auditors will be here starting August 30th. Yippee. Looking forward to that. Other than that, yeah. Uh, the only check warrant question I had was, I see for the fire department, they have three different boat headquarters. They did, places. and they're still having issues with it. So it's back at boat headquarters. I have them right here if you want to look at them. Sure. Yeah. But I know... Does the um, boat even work that much? Joe well, did said... <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. You buy a mortar for They brought it back uh, this week and it's still there to my knowledge. It's not quite fixed yet. And you what was wrong? Here? Nope. nope. Uh, we have a carb repair kit, fuel filter, water test, annual maintenance. Gotta do that water battery, test. Uh, change the battery, check the lubes, fire up, pump run, uh, pumps and runs well on garden hose. One of them is for 611 bucks. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's this one with the yeah, carb kit and the... Uh, they're all the same second one. page to that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Unless it's just the total. Yeah, it's just the total. Um... And then I have no, uh, no idea what this is. So I would say spark plugs, NGK. Yeah. Is it annual maintenance? Maybe. Well, I don't think it's been maintained in a little bit. Yeah. I think they're trying to get it ready for the Get it ready for winter. Well, they're all certified now. They all took that course. They, yes, they are certified. That's why they haven't done anything because they couldn't use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't. They want to get it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Up to speed. Got forty more from Mercury mm -hmm. on it. Pretty quick. That was my only question. Yeah. Actually, I think he had it in his budget. So yeah. He must have been, has, you must have been yeah. thinking ahead. Yeah. <coughs> Finance committee met this past Monday. Yes, I apologize. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> it consisted of Heidi and myself. <laughs> but we uh, got the RFQ for the fixed assets 100% uh, finalized, and that, uh, as of today, has been posted around town and in newspapers with a due date of September 8th, Friday, by 4 p.m. What became of your other finance community people? Uh, it either just slipped their minds or they didn't feel like coming. Oh. Everyone's busy. Yeah, I yeah, unfortunately got everyone's busy. Shorthanded, so I could not leave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, fixed assets, is that just to get a handle on what we have? Again, we or? will never uh, have a good audit if we don't start tracking our fixed assets and depreciating them every year. 
uh, we're never going to meet the accounting standards by you know the governmental accounting standards, uh, which will always give us a negative on our audit. So it was suggested to Shelley by the auditors last year that this is one of the things that they suggested that the town uh, do. So Shelley's been right on that small list that they had and has cleaned up things very nicely. So although they are back again, I think they'll be, be, well, I will be quite satisfied that she's done a great job. We do have yet one small one from uh, last year's audit left. It's the uh, banking and investment policy, uh, which Heidi and I briefly looked at on Monday. Um, now I'll throw that back out to the finance committee to do their preliminary before we meet again next month. And we'll get that on the books. Okay, perfect. All right, so that's it for Shelley. We will move on to Wendy, town quick updates. Mm -hmm. Line through this. Hey, I'm telling you. That's at 8 o'clock. Shh. Jinx us. Have you seen Heidi's section yet? So, I, was gonna say that. I, can that. I can do that quick. Minutes from August 3rd. <laughs> I'll make a motion to accept the minutes from August 3rd. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed. Ayes have it. Okay. Um, very quickly, the Maha fundraiser on September 16th, um, we discussed security. Yeah. That would be a good idea. And Ben Lowell has offered to be on site for their event. Are comfortable, so that is covered. I wanted to let you know. Thank you very much. Ben. More rough for the white tails. I wonder, did we did you ever talk about security for that event at all? Mm -hmm. I had talked uh, with a did he say he had a guy? Yeah, he's got a guy. Uh, I just talked to him this morning. He says there'll be somebody at the door for uh, make sure the alcohol and all that stuff. So looks like he's got it covered. I don't know. They're gonna have to have some regulation with themselves because. Gun giveaways and stuff. Mm -hmm. so I'm assuming they have that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, so that's all set. Um, I put it in the drop box the speed cart data from the two different sessions on St. Armand Road. Apparently, they found our data they thought they lost the first time, <coughs> brought it back. So it's in the drop box, and I went over it with Sheriff Bob and Really, the times it was out there, there wasn't a huge speeding issue. There was a few that were off the chart, but it wasn't a constant thing. And that was from like 7 in the morning till 8, 9 at night. So the data's the there. Side. You know, if the question comes up again that they're flying by my house on St. Armand Road, it's, is it still on Route 78? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's up on Route 78 just outside of the village now. Yes, so. The data will be helpful if, if the complaints come up again. So, um, I had a request just today from the employees at the Jolly. One of their employees' husband just had a liver transplant, Mr. Bacchus, Roy Bacchus. And they would like to have a bake sale on the town property between the vet and the gun shop where the benches are. There's some benches there. They want to set up a oh, yes. tent in the next week or two and have a bake sale for the Bacchus family. And I said I would ask. They don't have a date certain, but they said within the next two weeks. <clears throat> I don't have a problem with it. As long as it's all cleaned up, cut it down, that's it. So where are they going to park? Um, Golly. Probably the, if it's on a weekend, probably like that. Pause for and thought and have an hour. Pause for thought. Might go there and give it a little bit of iron for you. Never on. Yeah, as long as parking doesn't congest the road. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. All right, I told her I'd call her back tomorrow. Um, they don't want to use a Macy property? <laughs> nope. She wanted to look where those benches are. I thought it was a very quaint spot. Um, the final summer concert is this Sunday, August 20th at 7 p.m. 
So they've had some awesome weather on Sundays for the crappy summer we've had. They've looked out on Sundays, and this Sunday looks good too. Who's playing? Uh, I do have a flyer here. Mark Shelton and his invisible friends. <laughs> Apparently there's a costume change involved and it looks like he dresses up like Elvis. I Elvis. don't know what's going to happen. I was telling you. That's a must go to. Just for that. Tune in Monday. <laughs> Something to see. Okay. Once in a lifetime. And Sharon went to an open meeting law training last week. I did, yeah. Um, I didn't go. I've been to it a few times. But Swanton um, hosted it, and Sharon did attend. Hopefully you got some stuff out of it. I did. Okay, good. Yeah. Awesome. Make and sure that we all, all are good boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> Following the letter of the law. Yes, yes. And the only other thing I had under me, we can wait and do it, was the, the Macy bids. <coughs> I don't um, know when you want to do that. I'm good for doing them right now. Okay. Okay, so we did have an open time for people to come to the Macy property and look at the goodies. And Wendy was able to post them, a bunch of pictures on our website, on Facebook. Uh, we had a few people show up. It was open from noon till 2 on last Saturday. Uh, so these are some of the things that have been bid on. So we have a bid for $40 for 6 windows, $20 for 10 shutters from Lisa Wilder. Wilda. Wilda, excuse me, sorry. Um, we have from Julie Rice, we have a bid for $5 for each shutter. Uh, she says she would like four or five and windows with six panes. I'd like two or more for $5 and the big long window for $10. Like two or more $5 and the big long window. Uh, okay, I think that was just a coffee. Yes. Yeah. So windows and shutters. Um, Her name's at the top of the email. Okay, yep. So Justine McNeese uh, has made an offer of two window panes for $10. Um, I took a bid from Dean Fackler for the metal register uh, slash grate uh, that is in the attic of the house for $10. Uh, Patty Rainville would like nine of the shutters for $10. She said she would take the rest of the shutters for a total of $20 if no one else wanted them. Uh, we took a bid from Jim Bladen for a used mailbox, used wheelbarrow tire, a uh, water pump and a tank for $50. And then our boss cat, which yes, is my father, uh, he would take all the shutters for $20. But he didn't really care if he had them or not. He just didn't want to see them crushed. So those are our bids. So what is the select board's pleasure? Can you determine who the highest bidder is? Depends upon which thing you have. The metal register. Yeah. Well, that's easy. No one yeah. no else wanted that. Right? right. The water pump, tank, mailbox, old wheelbarrow <laughs> tire for 50. That's a given. Yeah. Okay, so we'll win. I'll make a motion to accept that. Okay, so we got those. So Dean Fackler and Jim Layton. Um, so, it comes down to windows and shutters. Who would have thunk? So we have $40 for six windows, $20 for 10 shutters. How many windows total are there? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's Two, good. four, there. six. Is there enough to satisfy? I think there are 10. Okay. Well, do we start pulling out existing windows that are in place? <laughs> I think that you have... Don't that. No, don't do that. Just I think you have just enough windows for the bids that you have. You figured out a party? 
I'm looking at the picture and I counted how many windows each lady would like. Cool. So we have enough to fulfill each of them. I believe all. that, yes. Oh. Yes, and I would say first come, first serve on the pickup. You get to have your choice of the two you want if you go first. Yep. Okay. I'll vote that in. Okay. So move. So, okay. <laughs> so Justine McNeese gets two windows for ten bucks. Uh, <laughs> Julie Rice can have four or five windows with six panes and ten dollars for the big long window. Uh, that leaves us with shutters. So you have Patty Rainville. She has picked out her nine shutters that she would like for $10. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Uh, <laughs> we have $20 for 10 shutters from Lisa. And Julie just said her $5 for each shutter. How many shutters total? Uh, <laughs> that would probably be your highest bid. If it's five dollars a shutter, you have twenty shutters, that's two hundred dollars. Um Do we have a photo of the shutters? Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's a it's a large pile and they are in various degrees of condition. And she'll take every single one for five bucks each? No. I oh. think you're gonna find she'll take a couple. Um okay. I think it's the same case as the windows. We have enough. There are plenty of shutters. Uh, first come, first serve. You get to choose a, your, a choice of your shutters if you're the first one there. Like the candy. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Good. That agreeable to everyone? Yeah. Did uh, you didn't have interest in the hubcaps or whatever? Okay. No, uh, that's what I'm saying. I'll give you 10 bucks for all of them. Nobody else said, no, I'll give you 10 bucks for all of them, guys. Sold. Sold. No, that's good. And then two tea tops in there, in the other part. You're picking them up? How much for the tea tops? Yeah, I'll pick them up. That, that, the, with the tea tops, all that has in the tea tops. That's the other part. I heard ten bucks from the hubcaps, nothing from the Tetons. We've got a hard bargain. Throw another ten in, Woody. Five. So. We throw the dollar in, Woody. Probably wouldn't work. Moving on. No, we're on our eight o'clock deadline. High five. That's right. We'll get our low limit. Look at that. It's gone. Okay, so. Yeah, so where's that money going? Go over there to pick them up. So it's so at a time that they have to yes, taxes. all towards the nation property orientation. Perfect. I can do it any day during the week. He's retired now. I can pick up any day during the week. Free man. Yeah. Well, yeah. Would you make up a bill of sale or whatever? Is I don't need one. Yeah, Just sidewalk on Tuesday, like a donation. Tuesday, and that's okay. it. Yeah. 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 Uh, so <laughs> this yeah. would be the deal. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday evening, um, 5.15 to 6.15, I'll be at the property. You can come and pick up your goodies. The sale cash can go, where would you like the money to go back to, gentlemen? Shelly. <laughs> that she's the church. Oh, yeah, but it will always go to Shelby. <laughs> 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 it was over, it was over there, it was over there um, handing out the stuff. Is it a cash only thing or is it a check or is it a. Cash check. Or a good or check. All the major credit cards. All the major credit cards. No ATM. We're talking $5. Well, who's going to know? Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Who's over there at the property should be able to handle the money. Yeah. Yeah, we got that part, yeah. yeah. Uh, what we're saying is, should it go particularly to a Do we start plot a for a Macy property or? How about fixing the water fountain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, there you are. Yeah. yeah. Money to fix the water fountain. Fix the water fountain. Sure. Sounds good. Got Move okay. it. So do I have a motion? Yeah. Timing is everything. Second. <laughs> I'll say. Okay. Talk to Kelly. There you go. 
a done deal. So are we contacting you? Be That's how you do business tomorrow? right here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them either Wednesday or Thursday, 5.15 and 6.15. Yes. Is it dip? We got all in favor? We got a second vote. Yeah. No. We got a second but no vote, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, so all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? So moved. Oh, and that was our live auction for this evening. <laughs> we do one every month. Yeah. We have to do call in next time. Uh, my only other thing is I'm willing to go there the two nights, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, there is still mm -hmm. stuff there. Do you want to let it go for? Pick it up, it's yours for those two hours. There are some books, there are some dishes. The library don't want books? No, no they, got they have books. so many books, yeah. They have they're overflow. Um, but there are some books from the 1900s, uh, 1916, 1915, were some of the ones I looked at yesterday. Um, if you want to put them up as a historical society, would take them? Come, take them. That's fine. Yeah, so there's no interest. Yeah, give them so away. Far. Okay, so if you can just post that for the two hours mm -hmm. next week, it's a free for all. Come, take it away. Donations are welcome, though. Yes, donations are always those. welcome, and we'll put it toward the fountain. She don't need them. We'll have a go to the full play the fountain. Like that. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be a brand new fountain. I don't know if we're gonna get carried away with a lot of <laughs> And they are talking, you know, back. five, ten dollars. <laughs> okay. It'll buy a valve. Yep. Yeah, that's right. And if someone needs, cannot make those two meetings, they can call me and we'll spend up a, set up a special time so that they can receive their goods. <laughs> but I will not do that for free items. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, mm, anything else? Sorry. Uh, one. Take when, when did you oh, have our conduit with the sheriff? Yes. So what's with the uh, speed cart that's in a 50 mile an hour zone east of the village that flashes at you if you're doing more than 35? I think it flashed just like this one out front. It flashes at you as soon as it picks you up. No, if you're under 35, this one oh, doesn't stays. flash at you. Um, but up, but up Wayne, there, you talked to Mr. King about that, didn't, or Wayne King, is that his name that has it? Well, he filed the speed complaint with me, but the sheriff set it up with him without talking set to up. me. I mean, I told him that Mr. King was interested, so... He was well in 49 right? it flashes at If you're doing 36, it flashes at you in a 50 mile an hour zone. Mm -hmm. It just has to be reset. It just, just probably... Yeah, it's it's been been out out I think that's wishful thinking. Yeah. Uh, right. So if we can reach out to them just to ask them yeah, to reset Yeah, the speed report's going to show us. Yeah. Funny story, someone called District 8 and said someone's trying to steal your sign. They brought it into their garage. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> He's supposed to take it in a name. <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> They're watching. <laughs> Okay. All right, am I up? Okay. Uh, Wendy, you're good. Uh, yep. Thank you. Okay, I did, I did a written update for you in there, so if you have any questions beyond that, shout out. But just quickly, the dispatching um, contract with St. Albans uh, Dispatching. Our attorney had it, and then it went back to them, then vacations, vacations, and their attorney is looking at it, had a couple questions, so he's contacting Ed, and Ed's been on vacation, so it's just been slowed up because no one's around. So it's still in the works. He's very eager to get it done, hopefully, maybe by your next meeting. Um, some time ago, Mrs. Chevalier sent us a, a, an email that that dispatching service could be done on a, a per call basis by one of the other dispatchers. Uh, is that in fact the case? And if so, how does that compare to uh, St. Albans dispatching? 
I have no knowledge on that topic. There are other services available. Um, there is a Middlebury dispatch service that I have been told the local, someone locally has chosen. Uh, there is also the Shelburne dispatch that is available. Uh, I am told that Shelburne dispatch does theirs on a call, per call basis. I think it was Shelburne that, yes. that she uh, addressed. Yeah. Uh, I do have a contact number, but I have not had a chance to give them a call. But I am certainly, if you wanted to reach out to them for us, I can certainly email you the phone number. I, I just was largely wanting to know the veracity of the, uh, the statement and uh, how it compared Figuratively speaking, with the St. Albans contract. Yeah, no, I did not uh, actually speak to a couple of members from the Albert, and they had gone with the Shelburne dispatch, and they do pay a percent or a per call uh, fee for the service that they receive. And how does it work out for more or less? Uh, they were not with St. Albans prior to this. They were with a New York service. Oh. So I don't know the answer to that question. Basically the only way to really know that is put in an RFP or whatever and see what the pricing would be on both. Um, you could, uh, or you could just call and, and get the information. Put it up and yeah. see if we and whether or not they would be willing to cover us. Right. And see what other risk factors go along with that. Right, right. Might be worth something just looking at anyway, just to keep St. Albans honest. Yeah. And are the other ones willing to update some of the equipment? How would that be on the communication? For our area. And locate on our tower. So, is that something you want to look into before making a final decision? Or look into it next year? Um, our contract with St. Albans Dispatch is up. Two years? I have it on my desk. I can go and check. Go and check. So when our contract will be up, the first time yeah. contract for next few years, and we are not right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is just a contract update the tower to get better signal. All right, so we're still on the contract with St. Albans. Yeah. Yes. For three yeah. years, potentially. Yeah. I, I think it's two, but Shelley will verify that. And I don't know is your dispatching contract to locate on your tower would be contingent upon you renewing your contract with them. It is a service to the surrounding communities as well because there's a, 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 a bad spot. Gotcha. We're spot in communications right here. No, so we Currently just our fire department and they don't get the whole message. So it may be something you would want to do anyway. Either way. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. So in lieu of that, we'll wait for Shelly to come back, but we'll move on as we're waiting. Um, there was a request at the Summer Sounds concert um, if they we might be able to cut the hedges in the front of the Veterans Memorial where the band sits inside you can't see the band because the it's totally enclosed with just a walkway and two different people came up and asked that might be something that the select board would entertain to cut the hedges in the front or remove them either way what are they cedar they don't look like cedar to me no i think it looks better with that open anyway because it open up the front of it but what do you guys think we 
the Memorial Day Committee paid to have the hedges trimmed right before Memorial Day. They had been probably six years since they had been trimmed. We know there's more, but we wanted some healthy growth. But what I think Heidi's talking about is people are requesting to remove the front section so if the, when the band's set up, you can see the band in two, it actually allows more visible visibility of the monument as well. So my thing on that is one concert this season, they played in front of the Fireman's Pavilion. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they're playing on the monument when they That's have shown. I felt that band. way two years ago when we presented it to the select board and it, they didn't go anywhere. Um, but if they've shown that it works, I don't know how Arts Council feels and why it got moved back to the monument. It but didn't work over here. There's really no space for the band or for anybody to sit. They just did it out of urgency. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Well, right. We had a veteran in attendance that night, I think. And it did on. Yeah, of course that's one person, but... We have actually talked about putting up a bandstand of some sort and hiding these calls on the website and move it right out of there. I think they would be thrilled with that. I've, I've spoken with them about that as well. So as soon as we, I mean, there's a rec grant that comes up every year that could happen oh, that, yeah. but we can get some prices last year and, oh, and okay. kind of drop the ball on it. idea. It could be used for many things, not just the concerts. So where are we at with that shrub? Are we going to just prune them, or did you want them there and you want them left there? there? There's two ways to look at it. One, it allows better viewing of the monument, but the other thing is if you're going in there to reflect and look at the names and honor the people, it makes it a little bit more quieter from the traffic from 78 as well. Right. So I think we probably could find a half a medium and go another foot on each side to make the opening bigger. I want to cut them down. down. Come down. Um, I would, you know, for me, that's my, just my opinion, I mean. Well, you say, yeah, they're just going to keep getting bigger. Right. Is and there someplace else that they'd be useful? I, 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 I think having, uh, keep pursuing the band stand idea over there and then leave the shrubs to keep it more secluded if you're going in there to reflect because that's really what it's designed for. Being a veteran, I would leave the shrub around there. I think uh, if we have one more Sunday, this Sunday to do it, we got time to think about, you know, we don't have to go out there tomorrow and, and do this. Do you know how much they trimmed uh, before the parade? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yeah, like I said, it had been six years and he said that he'd like to see new growth this year and then hit them again. Uh, we talked about doing that same with in front of the arena. Um, so yeah, there's definitely more to be trimmed. It just was, it had been overgrown to make it look presentable. It's all he could take right now. It was a whole yeah. pickup line. Yeah. So yeah, I, I feel similar to Josh that that's, um, a respectful place and that uh, it's part of our history so we had a lot of people that served from this town that we owe them a place for their families to visit for them to visit and show respect for those that did not return uh, and then I would yes rather I guess move the summer concert series and we can certainly as part of this village designation funds are available through that as well that maybe we can pursue a bandstand in the falls park which would give you you know a great thing um, yeah and it would take all this parking off from the park too everyone's yeah. parking in the park and it really is kind of congested here yeah, right yeah if you move it down the falls, you probably uh, eliminate some of the business that probably brings the, the stores around. Well, it's usually people are eating 
food that's cooked by a nonprofit at the concerts. Oh, There's okay. each concert someone comes in and sells food for their nonprofit. Yeah. Then you have to put power down in that part of the falls too. Yeah. And parking. Well, and you've parking got that whole back, back loop the off the road. road. It's kind of ideal, actually. And St. John's oh, you can Church. Park. It's a layass. I mean, you, you, can, you, can park, you can park over the Sunday. For, for a small fee, yes, you can park. <laughs> How small? $5. It's like the shutters. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the shutters. Or a shuttle. Free shutters. Yeah. yeah. Free shuttle. <laughs> yeah, I can run the shuttle. I will be retiring. Well, I thought this was going to be quick, but boy, we're out okay, of that conversation. Sure. The Hungerford construction contract is in your Dropbox and in the packet, and that's just to complete the work uh, at the front of the park and ride. So we can get that done. Um, so please authorize me or sign the contract to Hungerford <coughs> construction for 22-8, and that is funded through the park and ride grant. So do we have a motion to sign the Park and ride grant. Can you refresh my memory on that? We had three bids. There were three bids, yes. We chose them already, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. And he has performed a site visit with AOT. So, so we just need He's ready to roll. So then in that case I make a motion and give you permission to sign that and get him moving. Okay. Do I have a second? I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed. <laughs> so moved. Uh, the ADA uh, modification, so construction funds for the ADA modifications, that grant is being delayed. I think I told you at the last hearing, the last meeting, until uh, November we can apply because we don't have our bid documents yet and we don't have our environmental review started. So, um, We'll be applying for that, so I'm just continually working on that. And there's a resolution in the packet to apply, um, and we will be having a hearing at the next meeting, which is also a requisite. Um, Question: can, can we do any modifications prior to getting the grant that would not hurt us to get the grant? Meaning if you wanted to modify the bathroom so they could be ADA compliant, because we have money set aside, can we do something towards that compliance and not get, not get the grant? Because the grant might take another year. And my concern is, you know, the longer you go, the liability is there. So, Absolutely. you know, if we do some good faith effort to say we're in the process of getting ADA compliance, even if it's just the bathrooms, just to start. Just to start. So if someone, God forbid, has an issue, we could at least show we mitigated the situation. You know, I don't know if that's the cheapest or the smallest thing, but or just the back door or you know or something. At least we can show the town that we asked you for the money, we started it, we did something, and then the rest we're trying to get for a grant so we don't have to spend all the money. Just an idea. <laughs> I'm going to say no, <laughs> uh, from the grant perspective, no, because if you start, if you do any work now, <coughs> you're not going to get it covered under the grant. Um, the are, work that you do the, or the, the grant? I mean, if we do the bathrooms for a million dollars and it costs two million to do the building, we can only get the million dollars for the building, not the bathrooms, right? Yep. Well, when you apply, you're only going to get a percentage of what you do. So for our total package, we will get the full grant if we apply for it all and do it all at the same time. Okay, we, so... We, the, the board it, did agree not to apply for the smaller grant. I don't know if you were here. They backed okay. away from that one. So they could go ahead with the floor and the roof. Mm -hmm. And what I would say, just from a workload perspective, I don't see there being time to start another construction project right now. So the matter of liability though is my concern, not the time. Because if somebody comes in here and can't come in, they can sue you 
for a whole hell of a lot of money. I think the first offense, if they wanted to, it's like 50 grand. Yeah. And I think if we show some mitigation that we're in the process, if they did even sue us, it would be better for us down the road. That's, I mean, if it, I know the grant's important and it may pay for 80% of what we do, but we do have $80,000 that the town gave us. And I think if we show that we do something with it, rather than waiting another year for another grant, the cost is just going to go up. I mean, fixing bathrooms so people can use them that are handicapped doesn't seem to be a big loss that wasn't a large percentage of the money to do the building. It was you, a very small percentage get, of the ADA. Get, so you have the scope of work right. to do the whole project. You'd have to break down what was required just in the bathrooms and just separate that as its own little project, right? Right. And for this, our total was $80,000. Uh, and then the grant application is for seventy-five. So I guess my feeling is on that part, uh, it would show the courts that yes, you are pursuing this. You have done the appropriate paperwork. You've had the study. You are working toward that goal. I would think that that would be sufficient for a court system at this point, I guess. My, my concern to that is we were given money to do something. Yes. And instead yes. of doing it, we're applying for a grant, which will take well, how long ever the grant takes us, no one's fault. Right, right. It just may take a year or six months. So is that enough mitigation to say we applied for a grant when we already have the money sitting in our hands? Right, and that, and that was the idea behind taking, backing away from the rural development grant for the floor and the roof so that we can do exactly that, is to show people that yes, we asked for money in the CIP and in response we fixed the roof and fixed the fire department floor. Um, having said that, we are pursuing a grant for $75,000 in hopes that we only have to use the taxpayers $5,000 as opposed to the whole eighty. No, well, I understand. I'm just saying, yeah, I, I, if the bathrooms cost $5,000, yes. can we pursue a grant for $70,000? And, right. and, you know, and then we did something right. as opposed to doing nothing. But it's up to you guys. I just yeah. thought I'd throw it out there. Yes. The bathrooms, it would be more $5,000. Um, no, I don't think so. No. It's a matter of height on a lot of things. It wasn't a matter of fixing anything. And bars, bars were too low. Signage. Mirrors weren't centered correctly. Yeah. It wasn't a reconstruction. Indoor the handles. The door, and signs. You have to move a door. Yeah. In the, uh, a wall, sorry. In yeah. the bathrooms because you can't get a wheelchair in. Now this grant has already <laughs> been applied for. Well, it's in the works. So if you wanted to back away from the grant, you totally could. Oh, you already applied for it? It's already in the work? It, the deadline, the first deadline was last week, but they asked us to apply in November because we don't have our bid documents yet. So we have not submitted an application yet. So you have the resolution in your packet to apply for it. And the, the next meeting would be the hearing. So, so what's your pleasure? I get, I get what Richard's saying. I get what Heidi's saying. At the same time, I don't think it would be that big of a deal just doing the bathrooms for a couple, three, four grand, whatever it would cost to do that. That's my opinion. I don't know if you get a separate contractor and say, hey, look, we want these bathrooms ADA accessible per the plan we already have. Um, I don't, I don't, but I don't know enough about grants to know if it, how it would affect it. I mean, it's going to make you rewrite the whole thing, then I, you know, I don't want to see you have to rewrite the whole thing. You know, that's a lot of work. So I, I don't know what goes in. Progress. Was that involved in, that was included in the grant? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it probably would have to be re rewritten then. Yeah. Before they... It, it would certainly be a change of direction. But we, we don't, we're not putting in for it right now. They asked us to put it in in November, you said. So it's possible to rewrite it. If we if we went ahead and did the bathroom, anything is possible. 
right so, now. There's nothing locked anything in. Anything is possible. It's oh, possible go. right up to the time you sign a grant. Yeah, I don't so. want to pull up, pull up out from completely away from that grant. Why would yeah. you use it in the bathroom if they can't even get in the door? Well, it's a it's a valid point. I mean, it's, and, and that the interior true. doors aren't large enough, so you know it's kind yeah. of a all or nothing. And well, usually you are. I mean, I just threw. No, I, I know, out. I know. But it's good to talk so about the only options. How long has it been? We all understand. Yeah, four years. Been there, like I know, but. How many handicapped? You can have, you can have. I know. There's been a few still that come and get notaries, and Wendy and I go out to the parking lot and meet them. Okay. Or we have helped them through the back door. No, well, there's been a couple. So we'll either meet them outside and do what they need. We'll go to them and accommodate okay. them. Okay. Find you fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. That's we, right. have, we have eighty thousand yeah. dollars allocated yeah. and available. Yes. Yep. And we're looking for how much of a grant? Seventy-five. Which is great. We well, the grant would allow you to address some of the issues in the highway department too by making that bathroom area accessible and cleaning up well, some of that uh, mess. Well, we to prioritize things. I mean, just when I first came on this board, we were talking about these ADA modifications and the grant process, and we're now better part of a year later. And we've there's been no no progress. We don't have the roof fixed. We don't have the fire department floor fixed. We don't have the doors modified. We don't have the bathrooms modified. We're we're waiting for a grant. We're also waiting for taxpayer money. Like we don't have any of this money yet until November first. We okay. might have voted on now, it in March. But right. We don't have any money, so we're still waiting. Well, Thank you. I think well, the taxpayers. That's, that's good information. CIP money is there on paper, but until taxpayer money comes in, there's still no money. So we don't have the money. No. We don't have that allocation. It's in this tax bill, which you haven't received yet. Which you will. It will be <laughs> so we'll 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 yeah. so we don't we'll spend it too yet. soon. That's right. Yes, too soon. So don't get ahead of yourself. So we don't have the money. You're not starting the project tomorrow. So you just see what you can. It's all you know what I see? Part of the reason these things feel like they move at glacial speed is that you hear about applying for a study. You hear about getting the contract for a study. You hear about going through the study. The you hear about a final it. hearing on a study. Then you hear about the request for construction funds. Then you hear about the process. The process for a very long time. I think in you know in municipal terms and in federal funding terms, we're moving at a pretty good clip, actually. So, you know, it's it's totally whatever the select board and planning commission feels is in the best interest of the voters. I, I would say that it's great that we don't have the money till November, but it doesn't mean we can't get a bid, get somebody here, and start November one. Okay, so saying that we don't have the money is true. Right but it takes us time to get bids. Oh, it sure takes does. us time to find somebody, and it takes us time to get somebody we want to hire because we don't want to pay one hundred sixty-seven thousand for a floor. Right. So I, I think it at least would behoove us. To, it's up to you guys, but to think about it. Yeah. I mean, if we're only going to modify the grant by whatever the door costs, or I'm not saying do the front. That's ridiculous. But yeah. to, to widen the back door really wasn't a huge project, as uh, as I remember. I mean. Um, I don't know. There you got to do the walkway out there and everything. Outside yeah. and, you got to yeah. redo the walkway. You got to put, yes. put an overhead for the people. I just hope nobody walks into this town who doesn't live here that wants to know about the taxes that's handicapped because those people count too. And it's 50 grand the first time and 250 grand the second time and 1.5 million the third time. And there are attorneys that do nothing but have elderly people walk into businesses to see if they're handicapped accessible. It's a 25 year old law. We don't have an excuse. And the public is not going to accept that we didn't do anything, even though we don't have the money till November. Because um, they don't see it that way. So if, if that's the case, as long as you guys are willing to explain that, come town meeting. Because I don't want to get thrown rocks at again. So uh, <laughs> I'm more than willing to go up there, but when they ask me, I, I have to have a reason. And that's why I'm only pointing it out. 
we, we grant a lot of things and they're wonderful. And I, I agree, they're worth the money to get, but it tends to put things off and then something else important comes up and then something else important comes up and then we've got 9,000 things that are important. <clears throat> so it's just my opinion that we should, as Bruce said, be a little bit more looking at how to prioritize what we need to get done. Because right now you have zero. And that's <coughs> not good. Great intentions, but we have zero done. And unfortunately, like Heidi says, <coughs> it takes time. There's a lot of moving pieces. And even though it may look straightforward, a lot of times it's not. <laughs> You might not know about this, or you might not know about somebody said this, or somebody did this, that kind of throws you off whack. The B-25 bridge is an excellent example. We had a deal all worked out, state threw us a fast one. We countered very quickly in a matter of two weeks, uh, and we're still sitting on our hands waiting. Limbo. We still do not have a finalized contract. Yeah, definitely. So Heidi is on the phone and emailing them constantly, trying to get this in paper. We have a deadline for a landowner. We have threats of condemnation by the state. There's a lot of moving pieces. In no way am I trying to say that you guys no. aren't working. I don't mean that. If I did, I apologize. No, no, no you're good. I, I just, we understand. I'm just I'm afraid that when I go in front of the town this year for the CIP, they're just going to run me out if nothing gets done. That's my concern and the planning commission's concern. We don't want to put a whole bunch of stuff in the CIP and have them to justify it when they say, well, we're going to give you another $100,000 if you didn't do a thing with the last $100,000. They did vote and say yes. I don't cool. think the voters are going to hold it against you, though, as long as you're, work you're working on two big projects, the roof and the floor. So that, that is... That's progress. That's those are two really important pieces. And the other thing that shouldn't be overlooked is that it doesn't look like we're moving, but we have a study, and we also are having the bid documents created via the, the that grant. So the town didn't have to pay for those documents that are going to help us to put the. Uh, construction of this building. Do you know when that grant will be awarded? So uh, the construction grant, ADA construction, uh, February. So it'd still be time for going out to Not construction for spring. So it goes in November, then if we get one, we know by February and then the money comes mm -hmm. sometime between February and, and spring. And spring. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not okay. terrible. So that's the time period's not that hot. So if we, if if we find out in February, we can pull the trigger right off. Either that, or at least you can go in and say, we waited, this is why we waited, and now it's only gonna cost you 5,000, so we're gonna give you $70,000 back to be redistributed to the town. I mean, that'd be awesome we, we if you just, guys could do that. Yeah, I agree with you, though. Yeah. We just have to have a plan and a roadmap to explaining it all, and why come town meeting day, they walk in, your roof still leaks, the floor still broke, building is not fixed what's going on right we we well, haven't been dealt we've the been talking regular people are getting done yeah we're gonna push that just as we are we are i know but yeah, we get on it it's yeah. Yeah. absolutely i just thought me i know you guys are working really hard and everything we're all working together so yeah we're making it trying to make it happen it's hard to pull people together and it takes time yeah, yeah. well go ahead bruce let it out mrs chevalier sat there and accused us of being delinquent of not taking care of this building in particular before any of us had even, a number of us at least, hadn't even sat here long enough to be delinquent. Yeah. Um, so what I've been hearing is that, you know, the roof is getting addressed sometime soon. The Actually, we had somebody come and look at it today. Yep. Cool. And it the, the, came in under what we have quoted to the town. The fire department floor is getting addressed. I realized we had some over-the-top bids mm -hmm. that were not acceptable, but we're looking for more. So that can happen. Yeah. 
And those two items at least aren't going to be contingent upon this um, grant. Yes. So and the B25 bridge money is set aside, and we are pushing that issue to, to take up that part of the CIP. Um, you have the fire department uh, money that went toward their truck. And that's still in trust for the purchase of the truck and they have formed a committee to uh, spec out the truck that they are looking for um, and, and then check warrant they just spent the five thousand yeah. for right. their personal protective gear mm -hmm. that was yeah. from so the year prior sure. they just spent that um, so as far as ADA compliance goes we're per, we're pursuing that. Oh yes. So if somebody wants to sue us for uh, the current condition, in all likelihood, uh, we've got a counter in that we're pursuing funding to address the issue. Okay, all well and good, but. Uh, in the meantime, I, I think Rich has got a point in that we're going to have to address the uh, funds that were allocated mm -hmm. that will be distributed in November sometime, or at least available in November, and uh, just how quick the process is going to be as far as our, our knowing if we get a grant or not. Well, I think Josh made a good idea. I think if you guys have a plan and you have it set up like a written plan of what you're going to do, mm -hmm. I think that would help you a lot. Right. I'm not just for anything, but for this particular. Yes. God right. forbid somebody walks in the door, right. you can say, no, we were going to do this, but we applied for a grant. We're waiting for this date. And if you have a timeline, so then if you go in front of the town and say, listen, okay, we didn't get the grant, so boom. Now this is the next thing we do. I Come think that would, we don't have the grant, we didn't want it. Right, and I think if you do a timeline like that and set it up, I think you'd be better off. And it takes a little heat off of, of Heidi and puts a little bit of heat on you guys to do it, but at least you know what you're doing. Because things, like you say, things come flying at you all the time from different angles, things break. And if you don't keep them organized, you lose sight of it. And at least I think that in a legal mitigation would look a lot better than saying we just applied for a grant for a 25-year-old law. Yes. You know, we have a purpose and we're following this rule. But that's just my opinion. Yes. I, I agree wholeheartedly and that's an excellent su suggestion. I do want to caution, though, everyone that just because we set aside a certain amount for CIP does not mean that we are obligated to spend it. That money would go back to the town's taxpayers and they could reallocate that money at their pleasure. Um, I don't want to get into the habit of we have a budget of 100,000 so we got to hurry up and spend 110 so we can ask for more next year. No. We, <laughs> no. Let's, let's no. be a little it's, prudent it's, and, and try to look out for our folks. So I think what people sometimes see is there's no yes. direction oh, and if yes. you know like we, we did an open house and we did this we had a direction, we had it organized, we had to show them what we were going to do. And I think if, when people ask questions, you say, oh no, we've got a plan, this is what we're going to do. Yep. Then they kind of back off and they say, well, you do know what you're doing. Yep. As opposed to, well, we're waiting for this grant and you know, blah, 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 blah. It, it just seems a little bit more organized, that's all. Yep. No, very good suggestion. Sorry. Any more comments, questions? So, so will you put together a timeline or plan that we could have? Yep. So I, my recommendation would be that you sign the resolution. We continue that. If you feel at a later point that you want to just proceed anyway, you're under no obligation to accept the funds. You're not under any obligation until the time that I put the grant agreement in front of you and you sign it. So if you uh, sign the resolution tonight, then 
you can still we can still approach that and try to try to focus on the other two jobs because you know no excuses but there's a lot of projects happening right now and we have a bit of a bottleneck in managing them so so I would ask is it the board's pleasure to make a motion uh, to go forward with the grant application yeah. Okay, so Randy makes a motion. Sorry. Okay, Josh seconds. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed. I actually need you to sign. There's a copy in your packet. Um, it's written in your names on it. Ah, yes, I did see that. I think it's early. All right, I'm going to keep chatting because I'm very surprised by the amount of conversation we're having on these things. It's good. Right. It's good. No, nope, it's all right. good. Um, so Tuesday, I did submit the grant, the highway stormwater grant application for the Macy Road slide. Um, and I worked with the trans to bring the bid for the previous Macy Road slide up to present day standards. Um, so it's all just pretend numbers at this point, but it came to 900,000. So the town would be on the hook for 183,000 to get that award. Um, so we won't know about that for a while. We touched on the village designation applications already. So we'll be putting together um, proposals for the falls and for the springs for official village designation as well. Um, and the uh, sidewalk project update, uh, the Tuesday the 22nd, the committee will be meeting to review appli applications for construction inspection services. And the construction bids will be in and open that afternoon. Um, and then sent to AOT for verification of qualifications. <coughs> and they will let us know who got the project. Um, so, well, one more grant while we're talking. Well, that's, it. Um, yeah, that's it. The cycle is open right now for the municipal Basically. planning grants. So, the town um, had one last year for the library study, which is still happening. And um, I'm wanting to know if the select board wants to apply for a municipal planning grant to facilitate the steering committee for the Macy property. To guide them and help them coordinate public hearings and, and manage that process. I, I would make that motion. Is there a match? It's 8,000, no match. Above 8,000 is 50%. Just like the library. Just like the library. Okay. Process. That's right. That's a no lose. Right. So, discussion item. Do they have to wait for the grant in order to start? Well, I think... Discussing no. ideas? No. 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 You you can can no. I think that's free. Yeah. It's only ideas, it's not on. No, but you're going to want a, a consultant that can create a design. When your right. board says, okay, this no, is what I we want to see. I understand that aspect of it, I, and I'm in favor of the grant, but I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't want to postpone starting to get public input and all the ideas that can possibly be thrown at the thing uh, before we get, you right. know, while we're before we get a grant. <clears throat> so the, the library has begun their feasibility study. They met last night with a great bunch of folks who did tour the Meiji property and the uh, building. Um, they took ideas at that time with the engineers that were hired. Um, but yes, the planning commission, and I am here to ask tonight, we have three people that were on that Macy property um, original board, Randy, Steve, and then Chris Yates. Uh, I would ask that we are looking for a chair for that committee. 
so that they can begin these discussions and give this group a leader. So I am asking Randy and Steve, are either of you interested in that position? Um, to take a head of that committee and, and gain some of this. Uh, so if this is directed from the planning com commission though, should it not be chaired by somebody from that committee? Well, I was going to ask if we have somebody from the planning commission on it. <laughs> uh, just to just no, round it out. I, well, no, the planning commission is completely involved. I, every member I would consider right. a member of that committee. So is this committee going to be reporting back to the planning commission? I think you'll all be one big happy community. Uh, we just need somebody to plan the meetings, someone who takes some kind of leadership in a direction. So you're going to be in trouble. So I, I'm, I'm asking for volunteer for a leader. What do you mean? Heidi is up to her eyebrows. Uh, I'm not far behind. I'd like to so be I'm, on the committee, but I don't know if I have the time uh, to so lead it. We're seeing way too much of each other. I don't want to take on top of that yeah. as well. Okay. I would I, envision I, the Meishi committee to work similar to the finance committee. I would, uh, yeah. I would take that. Yeah. You would? The yeah. Plan yeah. The reason being is, you know, I'd like to see it. It would be like a separate thing. For, Find out would report to us. I don't know where we're really I going with it as well. And I think your 10 year old will last mine. I think your 10 year old will last mine. <laughs> just so that we have some kind just, of yeah. leadership and some kind of yeah. design here so yeah. that that can move forward. So, so we discussed it, me and Randy. Yes. And Randy nominated you. Nominated me <laughs> for <laughs> <laughs> yeah. awesome. and, uh, We'll see where we can get with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm willing. And, uh, I, I mean, certainly willing to know that where we're going with it. And I have plans as well in my mind for the oh, town boy. to grow in that area as well. <laughs> got it, it's, yeah. it's all, yeah, I mean, <laughs> certainly, we're always going to be open for suggestions and, no, and anybody, you know, like you say, if we anybody else on. And I'm happy to, if you want to co-chair it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> This poor guy, Martin. he's got three Steve. considerations. Well, there you go. I'm late late and I'm bad and you bad. Want to be with you? God bless him. <laughs> You'll be on the board. You're going to be on the board. This is no, he takes a dog. Because he, he you just offered that. I think he was in your house. So. Ready? Oh. Yeah. You were just offered that. Is that something that you wanted to do? I would have to do that unless, you know, the co-chair wanted to be from the planning commission. Be a vice chair. Let, let me let me ask a question because I like that. Only because it was already brought. The, uh, the, the planning commission I don't commission, that. right? This commission is going to be reporting to the planning commission of their findings, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, I would think the chairperson would have to be able to come in front of the planning commission in a very short period of time. Yes. To let us know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what you're going to do. Yes. Yeah. It, so are we the planning commission responsible for their product? Or are they responsible for the product to us? Because that's the only way you're going to get anything done. Someone has to be in charge. <laughs> exactly. So if you're reporting to the Planning Commission, then you would report to the chair of the Planning Commission, which I am not. I'm the vice chair. Luke is the chair. Luke is the chair. Oh, right? So I would think there would be a session of meetings that has to be set up, probably on a bi-weekly or monthly basis from that committee to the planning committee so the planning committee can know what you're doing and steer you in the right direction. If you're not going to do that, then don't have a committee. Because no. it's going to go nowhere. Right. Might be a whole lot more functional if your co-chair or vice chair were one of the planning commission members. I'm fine with that too. I just want to have something in place yeah. where somebody takes the bull by the horn. Somebody yeah. holds some meetings. Yeah. yeah. Well, Has some direction, goes forward. Have you got somebody on that um, board that we're talking about? Uh, no, I don't think there is anybody on your Macy property thing. No. If that's from the Planning Commission. Not that I'm aware of. It wasn't when I was chair, and I don't think it's been any change. I'm on changes. the Macy's thing, but I'm on DBR board, and I, yeah. I told Steve I'll back him up as a co chair on it. If that'll do. I'm fine with that. I have a list in my office too of probably that six people that have come to be involved forward. in it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it is your responsibility to plan these. 
have the meetings and give a final product to the planning commission who will now be your ultimate goal setter. And goal. it was Wendy and have them warned. Yes. So people know about them and can attend them. Yes. Yeah, so these That'd are public meetings. There's no meetings. open law. So uh, have to get public here. meeting. Public mm -hmm. Have to get with you when we set up some dates and for. So you you are to get with the planning commission and go in a direction. It's a non-paid position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We always put you guys on the on the agenda for the planning commission meeting too, yes. so it's not like yes. we have to. Yes. That's right. Create a whole big yeah. thing. Just going to be on the agenda like we yes. are today. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on. Okay. Move. Anything else, Heidi? So you are instructing me to apply for the municipal planning grant, please, to get a consultant for the nation property. Yes. Okay. So the only other question is to what extent you want to apply. You can go up to twenty thousand. Um, so you what, could kick much, in as much as we can get. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Fortunately, if you go over eight thousand, then there's a match. Yes. You, you yeah. have a fifty percent match. So I, I think we're talking. About it's a big Very project. Large monetary yes. project. It's a it's a big project. Mm. You're going to be expecting a lot out of a consultant, and you'll need to have several different proposals for the public, and then a fine tuned <coughs> one to put in front of a vote. So, who's I, the consultant that does this type of work? Don't we have someone to work with? No, we would put it out to bid, just like we did for the architect for this building and for the library study. We'd go out to bid, and then a, the committee that you put together would select someone that they feel comfortable working with. So the max is 20? Yes, I I'll think so. I'll make that motion. For 20? Because 50% of the, anything over 8 is 12, yes. so 6,000 we'd be on the hook for. Mm -hmm. That's a, you got a lot of shutters. You're really so where the 6, some, some shutters. We got six thousand anywhere. Shutters <laughs> you talk, time wise, you're talking about something you put into next year's budget. Right. Virtually, it seems like. Yeah, it wouldn't be this year at all. No, right. Well, we're a, we'd be applying this fall, so you probably know yeah. before January. I think we got our last one in December. Before January. And then you'd start in January. Uh, but I, you know, I think, and again, it seems like we're moving really slowly, but there's a lot of work going on on that property right now in the Brownsfield process. Yeah. So you're, you've been through phase, phase two. one, you're in phase two, there's phase testing two. that's scheduled yeah. to come on right now uh, in September. They're going to be doing the testing in the soils, and then they're going to yeah. come back to you with a report, and that's going to be a real big piece of information about what you can yeah. and cannot do there yeah. and yeah. what's involved. So it's already a lot of work going on there. Yeah, people <laughs> so, aren't aware of it. People aren't aware of yeah. that. You don't right. see it, but it is. Plus, Sharon's opening up that place every other day for someone to get in there for some reason. can't believe it. You know, so. <laughs> she likes it over there. Yeah, yeah. It's for sale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Go ahead, like I said, it might seem slow, but it's okay to be slow. Right. It is. On that on one particular thing. Yeah, a lot it's not a race. And then okay. I had a question on the sidewalk update. I, are the all the bidders, have they stated whether they're able to do work before ground freezes <coughs> this year, or are we talking spring next year? This year. So the RFP was issued, work to be completed by November of 2017, and they did clarify at the site visit that we had this past week that they are fine to do work on signage or other detail after November, but the, the sidewalk would have to be completed. Um, and we had five vendors come to the site visit, and then one um, contacted us after the site visit. It wasn't a mandatory site visit, so we we may get some good bids. Okay, so we have a motion on the table to apply for a grant to twenty thousand dollars. Finally, come out next year's budget. Yeah. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed. Please apply. 
for you funding. Okay, I think that's it for me. No, I think so. I think it's more grants. Okay, so we've already auctioned off the Macy goodies. We've set our dates. Um, Bye, Ty. Bye, Ty. Yep. Mr. Trombley. Yes. Asking the town to take over Black Bull Park. The second corner of Black Talk, if you finish, you know, they can get bushy. You were supposed to do it last year, you didn't know. Maybe you're up. And the bit I got from. You, from I'm losing my mind, I guess. They used to have the uh, board directors at Almonds there. This was gives me the nice the right to do that and it had to turn it over to the town. So has the board had a chance to look at the rules and regulations concerning this? Process. I don't know if this, this board has, but then I went before the board two years ago about it. Uh, yes, as far as, as you are concerned, but I, I'm asking them yeah, if they uh, are yeah. familiar with. Um, I would suggest that we take the opportunity to see how this process goes. This would not be a decision that happens tonight anyway no, because it has to go before a public that. hearing um, in our ordinances. Um, and I I myself would like to be more versed in exactly more, what we yeah. what we get. So what, what, what our obligations are. are. Right. It's like Yes, it's gonna take a little bit of study and, and would like to oh, yeah. has Pat reviewed it yet? No. I think that would be one, too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it would have to be one. It has been made up to standard. Yes, it would be, according to the engineer, it has been the standard. The, uh, and, um, the, Jesus, I'm, one, I can't remember. Past your bedtime, Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> it it's almost nine o'clock. Well, you know, the uh, hunker pit, what did the, Black Hill. Yeah. I think it was ten thousand dollars in the bushy. So um, as far as the road go, that would be my suggestion that we take the time to actually review the process and how it works. Uh, and notify uh, Mr. Trombley at that time by letter, would that be appropriate? Mm -hmm. Um so that we have a chance to review the process how it goes and also have the road looked at to make sure that it's uh, would correspond and whether or not the town would like to take over that road and what responsibilities it would be required of the town to do that. Yeah. Um, do I have any other questions or concerns about? <clears throat> like, would the paver provide the proof of all this stuff? The pack and... Uh, well, it was two inches of black belt made years ago. Some base, wet areas. Some base was two inches. And it's, it was, it was, it was you know what I mean? Right. Normally, you know what I can walk up that road and be right. like, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, yeah it was a foot of gravel or whatnot. And so we have to have the... Well, it was, it was built Pat's built the process. process. Yeah, Pat would also inspect it as oh. part of the... It was built yeah. to, to the world standards for the yes. regulations. Yeah. Okay. You, yeah, you would want not the paver, but Mr. Trombley's engineer yeah. that did the work to certify the road was adequate. And there's, a, there's uh, other things to consider as well. You have a stormwater permit on That's the right. property. So I'm sure that has conditions of what has to be well, done for Well, I'll tell you up front is the prior slide board said they wouldn't take over the storm on a, on a permit. The Spec Boulevard Association will have to pay for that. And do you have a homeowners association with that development? Yes. It's, it's
Do you have bylaws for this association? We looked through the land records. We couldn't find any covenants or bylaws. It's in this paperwork right here. It's in, it's in all of these. The deeds, right. Is it's there recorded, a... It's recorded in every deed that's been transferred. Yes, we have deeds. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's bad. Bad. Did you get that? Of course, you read that over and it drives me crazy. Read it. I was worried about, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, this is what I was looking for. But it's also, when, when, when people who lost their soul, just that goes with, with the transfer of papers. Mm -hmm. Copy that. Now, is that development finished? Well, or still, you still have some? I've still, still got two more lots to sell. <coughs> According to the, I don't have to transfer it to, to, I have total control of the association until, until I sell the last lot. Then I, then I turn it over to the association. The attorney you have to deed that all out. So. Okay. okay, so I do. I have a motion on this. What are we doing? Uh, How do you want to put that motion? Like a motion to consider. The yeah, motion a motion to, to consider and and to notify yeah. Mr. Trumbull. Yes. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Third deal. I'll second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed. Okay, so we'll notify you uh, after we've had a chance to review it all. Okay. And uh, you'll get a notification by mail. And then we'll have you back and okay, sure. get a hearing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, Pines Plain Road culvert issue. We filled it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I filled twice. It. Filled the culvert? <laughs> you put some stone in the hole. In that big hole. There's a big gate hole in the top where it was washing out. Uh, we put, I, it was like that for a while. And, uh, we ended up putting some stone in there just to fill it. The culvert is squashing. I do have a picture of the culvert. Um, it does need to be replaced, but I think the option on the table is to reduce it down to a <coughs> trail? No, right? A trail. A trail, and then... To class four and up. Yeah, and then we would not have to worry about it. Is that where the houses are from then? <coughs> or the field? Yeah. Just, a, just on the other side of the bridge? Right now. Oh, for the bridge folks, yeah. The yeah. it's smushed. Yeah, but is that used every day? Right. It is, yeah, but there so is a home up there. So you can't make it as a trail, can you? That yeah, so I've spoken with the landowner, myself, which was her dad, well, yeah. and he's willing to take it over and care take it, take it off of our yeah, uh, concern. That. So that it's has nice been, time. that has been, I personally spoke with him. He told me he was definitely handling that. Put some guidance involved. documents in the drop box for you to read. There's some state statutes surrounding yeah, this yeah. issue, so yeah. it's another process you should yeah. Yeah. really okay. do some reading on. And yeah. So another yeah. thing for our consideration is yeah. whether that, so that cover will be very, very, very expensive to replace the proper way. So, Four or five footer, mom. Yeah, it's a it's a big, it's big. Yeah. But if we don't replace it, are we going to keep having issues? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If we let them take it over, we don't have to care. Then the care of it. Landowner be responsible. Because I mean, it. just past the culvert, there's posted signs anywhere where he doesn't right here up there. So right off. Yeah, it's kind of. And the only thing that goes up there is farm trucks, and that's it. So, there's no development going on. No, no, no. no. Currently, or agricultural land up yeah, there, and there's 
Northwest Solid Waste actually owns property up there, but their right away comes from Shelburne. From yeah. Shelburne. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Interesting. But so in your it's mostly cornfield and hayfield up yeah, there. If we keep it as a trail, we still have the rights to it. If we let it go away from the trail and just completely give it up, then we no longer have any rights at all. Right. Yeah. So. And in order to give it up, you would also have to contract uh, contact Sheldon, and they would have to be agreeable to that because they have the other half of that yeah. access. So something to study yeah. and to give more thought to, and and to come back at maybe next meeting. Yeah. Meanwhile, that has it been holding up what we filled in this last time? Yeah. Because yeah. he did it again. He went up the second time. Well, if we do that. Yeah. 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 Okay. As I know. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. the last thing I have on mine is efficiency. Vermont came to the arena. Do we oh, yeah. have any uh, progress about. report on that at all? Uh, we buy them. I don't know if Brian knows. Ty said they spoke to him about it, but um, I don't think they have any information. It usually takes them a couple, three weeks to give them a nice fancy report. Okay. All right. So more on that issue as well. Is there any other issues for the select board for public meeting? Any more comments from the public? Thank you all for attending. I make a motion that we exit Second. regular meeting and enter into executive session uh, where the premature knowledge of would put people at a disadvantage or legal, personal, and contractual issues. Second. Magic yeah. yes. Second in. All those in favor? Say aye. 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 aye.